Hey everyone, it's Nick. Today we're talking about Soul Sand in the new Minecraft update, which is up to this point 18 week 07A, the new snapshot. And you might have heard that magma cubes will generate bubble columns, which will drag you down when they're in the ocean. And the opposite is true for Soul Sand. It will push you up with its bubbles, creating some super cool opportunities for item elevators and for regular player elevators, which I'm going to show you right now. So. We have this very first one. We just have a 3x3 three three glass cube. The center is hollow and in there we have a soul sand block and then water on top and it looks something like this. If we uh, place some items in a dropper and power that you can see that the items get transported really quickly to the top. It's I think even quicker than a regular item elevator which used to have blocks right here and it's super efficient because you well, don't have to use any fancy redstone for the basic uh, buildup of this item elevator. Of course, you could add hoppers and all sorts of shenanigans, but it just works, which is cool. Now, let's first go over to the player elevator and then I'll show you some problems with this system. All right, we can go in. It's also the same tower. I just added an entrance with fence gates. You might need to change that up in the future if water flows through fence gates but what i have up here is pretty much a uh, well <laughs> it is just an observer block with some string on in front so when i hit the string it'll observe the change in that blocks uh, boundary box or hitbox and then it will send a redstone signal to this piston which pushes pushes me out so we can try that one more time and it'll push me out and I go up really quickly. I'll open up my F3, look for the Y coordinate right here, which uh, tells you my height and that happens really quickly. All right, so a problem with this system is that yesterday when the snapshot came out, I thought it only worked or I also researched and many people said it only worked for um, uh, Y level zero. So all the way down to bedrock to Y level 64, which is about ground level. And it turns out that that is not the case. We can generate bubble columns that are taller or higher up than uh, level 64, as you can see right here. And there's a trick to that. So we have this squid right in this tower right now and it is a uh, regular glass tower which you would build just like this but it doesn't work also if we give this soul sand a block update by changing the block next to it nothing happens what you need to do is build up some materials next to it so you need to have a solid uh, three by three cube and then when we update the soul sand this will happen Alright, so we get this one block which we uh, encase and then one on top as well. But the rest is not working as a bubble column, column right now. So what we need to do in order for this to work is we need to place down a solid 3x3 three three, uh, row of stones and then we need to update the soul sand and then it should yeah, create some more bubble columns. Hold on, let me get this to work really quickly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have bobble columns everywhere. The squid doesn't seem to be that happy, but uh, it works now. If I try going down, I'm flying right now, so let's see if we can go down. See, it pushes me back up with a really cool speed with a really high speed. So same applies for regular blocks. If you're not using glass, it doesn't work if you uh, just build something like this you need to have in the beginning a 3x3 three three, uh, cube or cylinder with a hollow center and then you place down your water you don't have to place down source blocks as I found out you just have to uh, place down a water at the top then it will flow down and then just give it some soul sand and it will create these bubbles and it works which is cool now what i also tried is using trapdoors but that doesn't work the soul sand seems to get an update so we can not at this point or maybe there's a trick to it there probably is uh, we can not make super uh, narrow elevators but this is pretty cool once it works, you can remove these blocks. <laughs> well, obviously not that one. And then it will work for you. So, two really simple concepts for an item elevator, which uh, is in function similar to the one with the player. 
with the difference that you have a door right here. You just walk in and then you're up here. Pretty cool, I would say, and I encourage you to test that out in your world as well. Alright, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell. Bye bye.